Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee, but I gotta get going because it's gonna heat up and then it's gonna start raining, so I got some stuff to do. Goal for today, to at the minimum get that split up and maybe some of this weird fibrous stuff. The log splitter's in the shade right now, so I'm gonna get started in the shade. I got those six big logs chopped up, so now I'm gonna try at least a couple of these. This plain and simple is just not splitting. I mean, it is just, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it off this thing. So, I'm going to save this wood for another day. I'm going to go chainsaw down some more wood, and I've got another little problem over here. Um, this right here, see that little gasket? There's like a little rubber gasket, and it's, it's come out, and you can see down here, there's a little bit of fluid that's been leaking, uh, so when I fully extend this uh, the fluid comes out so I've got to figure that out let me see if I can get a better shot of it over here just look down there that's coming out so I'm not going to try and keep using this until I can figure out how to fix that because I don't want it to be totally broken so oh my goodness and the sun's coming out so time to get in the shade well, it's looking better. Yep, little by little. And I forgot, those batteries are not charged. Have you ever had one of those days where nothing is working, everything is breaking? Well, the uh, log splitter blew a gasket, and now my glasses, both pairs, are broken. Let me see if I can show you. First of all, this pair right here, this thing comes off. Okay, it comes off of this. You could tell I've tried to fix it several times. Well, I've got it super glued, and I don't know if it's gonna hold or not. I need to clean off these lenses. But these are my main glasses. These, my secondary glasses, that broke, and I don't have the, the screws. There's no screws. I don't have any screws. So I super glued it, and look at that. Doesn't that look terrible? Yeah, I need to clean off the lenses. So. Hopefully it'll it'll hold. <laughs> I don't know. I prefer these, but oh my goodness. I do have some good news though. I candled the eggs again today and this will be the last time I'll candle them. And remember that one egg was way over here all by itself? Well, it has been upgraded to a good egg. Every single one of these eggs in here have activity going on in them. Either the baby chicks are moving, lots of veiny stuff going on, the air gap at the top is, is forming. So, I don't know, 15 eggs, 15 chicks, maybe. While I'm waiting for Miss Anne to come and pick up her bunnies, her rabbits, yeah, they're going to eat them, I'm pretty sure. I have decided on what I'm going to grow. And yep, I'm going to plant some more sugar snap peas because they're good to plant later on in the season. And these seeds are kind of old, but I'm going to try it. Turnips, I'm going to plant some turnips. And I'm going to give lettuce another try. Um, I'm not going to use up all the seeds because I know I could even wait a little bit longer and plant this lettuce. Um, but I want to see if I can do it. Uh, I had thought about carrots, but uh, from everything that I've read, it's still just a little bit too warm for carrots. So the next planting I'm going to do for like a winter harvest is going to be carrots. In this garden bed, I planted some of these sugar snap peas. These. And I made a little trellis. Yeah, I made it a little bit better than I did with the tomatoes. And I planted all around each of these and some in the middle. So hopefully they will grow, grow, grow very, very tall. I've never had much luck growing root vegetables, but I'm going to give these a try. Turnips, I have planted three rows basically, and they got to come up, and then you got to thin them out. And I watered it all really, really well. So who knows, maybe I'll be able to grow some turnips and some turnip greens. And that is all I'm planting for today. I may do lettuce tomorrow, I'm not sure. But um, I was roasting out there, starting to get a headache, so I came in. Um, oh, yes, my old neighbor Ann picked up the meat rabbits, and she's taking them home. She's got 
a whole plan for them. They're going to have so much more room to run around. And uh, so I'm, I'm very, very glad. Sent her home with a couple dozen eggs and some yellow summer squash. Oh my gosh, I've had so much summer squash. It's crazy. Anyhow, um, I'm hot. I don't feel good. Uh, there's no escaping this heat. I'm, I'm over. I'm over the summer. I am not a summer person. No, next year I'm going to have to plan in advance um, because it costs more to live during the summer because I need ice and I need propane. So uh, there's going to be some changes made. Um, I just can't wait till it cools off because it's, it's absolutely freaking miserable. Anyhow, um, I'm just going to take a break and... Uh, then go out and see my chickens. It's kind of nice being able to go out and forage for the chickens. Yep, I cut it up for them because if it's not planted in the ground, they can't peck at it. But I scattered it all over the place and they seem to love it. And I did the same for this crew over here, scattered it all over the yard. And aside from a few little squabbles here and there, they're getting along pretty well. It still stinks out there though. Where's my papa? Where's my boy? That's my boy. Yeah, he's all recovered. He's done with his meds. He's still trying to lick himself, but the wounds are healing okay. It's a little pink down there, but no infection. Yep, he made it through this just fine. And he loves going for walks with me. And I like taking him for walks. Lord knows I need the exercise. I have been getting kind of chunky. I mean, I may have only gained um, 10 or 15 pounds, but I think I've lost muscle mass. We'll talk about that in another video. Oh my goodness, this boy. This boy is shedding. Look at this. Look. <laughs> this is an everyday thing. I know it'll come to an end soon. But he does love getting brushed out. Look at that. That's only after a few strokes. Yeah, we'll give you a nice brush in here in a minute. But I just wanted people to see you because you are the best dog in the whole world. That's right, Papa. Love you. Well, I think all I got left is to go scrub out their water bowls and uh, give them some fresh water. And then just wait that for them to go up to roost. I will tell you that the, the barred rock pen, they all roosted on the same roosting bar last night for the first time. So that's great. And the littles are going up to, into their coop and the big ones go up to, into their coop. Um, I'm going to make some changes to the back of that van. I think tomorrow or the next day. Um, I won't be cutting any, up any wood for a little bit yet because it's it's just too hot. Uh, so I'm going to just kind of focus my energy on the chickens. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.